scarcity, choice, and opportunity cost. Crazy Cambridge, AS Economics 9708. Crazy Cambridge, what is Crazy Cambridge? Here I provide IGCSE content based on biology, physics, economics, accounting, business, math, and English. And I also provide AS content, which includes business, economics, and accounting. You will also find examination tips here. Also, you could check out computer science videos for at Code 4, where they provide IGCSE 0478 computer science videos. The link is in the description. Here's the syllabus content for scarcity choice and opportunity cost, which is part of the basic economic ideas and resource allocation unit. Let's look at what the fundamental economic problem is. So the economic problem, the general overview is the way the allocation of scarce resources is in the country. So now you know resources are scarce, scarce and the wants are unlimited. So you have finite resources and infinite wants. So you cannot get everything you want, thus the choices have to be made. For example, if you have to choose between um, commerce and science, and if you choose commerce over science, then science becomes the opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is the next best alternative for one. So choice leads to opportunity cost. Let's look at goods and services. Goods are tangible, tangible products that can be seen or touched. For example, car services are intangible products that cannot be seen or touched, like banking service. There are four types of factors of production. First is land, which includes natural resources like coal, oil, and the land itself. So, example, if there are animals on land, so if an animal comes under the land sector. Then, other one is labor. This is a human resource available in the economy. So this is where all the human effort is used in the economy. Then capital is man-made aid for production. This includes machinery which is used to produce other goods. The fourth one is enterprise. This is the willingness of an entrepreneur to take risks and organize production. This means they are the ones who are starting up businesses and they're taking the risks to produce goods and services to satisfy the unlimited wants of the people. Let's look at what Cetus Paribus is. Assuming other variables remain unchanged is known as Cetus Paribus. So here, example is, if the price of coke falls, Cetus Paribus, its demand will increase. Now Pepsi may react and reduce their prices as well, which may mean demand remains unchanged. So when the other variables are constant, they do not change and only one um, variable changes, it's known as Cetris Paribus. Now before I end this video, I would also like to talk about marginal decisions at the margin in economics. So what does it mean to take to make marginal decisions? So economists, they argue that most choices are made at the margin. Now this margin is basically known as the current level of an activity. So that is like an edge from which a choice is to be made. So a choice at the margin is a decision to do a little more or a little less of something. Now also let's talk about short run and very long run. Short run is when one factor of production is fixed. For example, capital is fixed. Then long run is when both labor and capital are variable. Uh, so in the short run, the capital is fixed and the labor is variable. Long run, both capital and labor are variable. And in the very long run, all factors of the production are variable, which will include technology as well. So this was part of the syllabus for this topic. And this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching Crazy Cambridge. Please do like, subscribe and share.